Namaste to all. I will be talking on an unsung hero, Lakshmi Sahagal. Lakshmi Sahagal was a revolutionary of Indian independence movement and an officer of the INA. She was born on 24th October 1914 in Anakara, Kerala. Her father was a lawyer and her mother was a social activist. About her education, she had done her MBBS and further diploma in gynecology and obstetrics. She then worked as a doctor in a government hospital. A year later, in 1940, the World War II broke out. The Britishers were recruiting all the doctors. Lakshmi did not want to do this, so she moved to Singapore. In Singapore, she started her own clinic. There she heard about the Indian National Army. She also happened to meet a few members of the army. On the topic of the INA, they were supposed to be allies with the Japanese. But the Japanese only verbally agreed, but never officially. So Netaji had to come to Singapore to resolve this. Lakshmi heard that Netaji was keen in recruiting women, and after an appointment, she joined the INA. They managed to recruit 1,500 women as trained soldiers and 200 as nursing staff. She came to be known as Captain Lakshmi. She was appointed as the Minister of Women's Affairs of the regiment on October 21st, 1934. Two days later, the training started. It was very rigorous and lasted three months. Apart from the physical training, they were taught military tactics, strategy, and map reading. The Japanese did not allow the regiment at first, but seeing their determination, they changed their mind. The attack got delayed due to heavy casualties and early monsoon rains. As they were on the verge of closing the regiment, the women sent a petition saying that, we are willing to die in the battlefield and do not want to retreat. During this time, Lakshmi was volunteering in an INA hospital, but few days later it got heavily bombed. As they tried to evacuate the survivors, Captain Lakshmi was caught and arrested in Burma on March 1946. The INA trials helped release her. After her release, she married Colonel Prem Kumar Sahagat. The couple moved from Lahore to Kanpur. Here, Lakshmi plunged into her medical practice between the flood of refugees from Pakistan. She also led a medical team to the Bhopal gas tragedy in 1984 and worked towards restoring peace in Kanpur after the anti-Sikh riots. Lakshmi received the Padma Vibhushan in 1998 by then-President R.K. Narayanan. She was still seeing patients regularly, even at the age of 92. Lakshmi died on 23rd July 2012 in Kanpur at the age of 97. These days, girls and women have the right to education. But during those times, an educated woman with an MBBS was a big achievement. The main thing about Lakshmi Sehgal was that though she was a woman, she defied all odds. Each and every Indian should be proud that a person like Captain Lakshmi came from our country and had a major part in the country's independence. If we have the freedom from British rule today, we must also thank the blood and sweat put from the soldiers who fought for us.